I'd love to invite four FCE students to the stage. So please welcome Imani, Rafi, Christian, and Delaney. Hello, my name is Christian Cruz, and I am a sophomore at Sequoia High School in Redwood City. My goal is to go to college at one of the UCs. I want to pursue my interest in the environment and study either environmental science or biology. I joined OCE because I wanted to learn more about the college process and make my dream a reality. One of the things that I love about SCE is that everyone has the same goal. I will be a first generation college student and I've known since I was little that I wanted to go to college. My mother made it very clear that going to college would lead to a better life. She has always encouraged me in my studies that is why my family is very important to me. Ms. Rivera, this question is for you. In what ways did your family have an impact on your decision to go to college? Well, my mother always talked about how she wanted a better life for us and she had herself. She wanted us to have a college education if we could, but she was, for her, high school was even a big um, step. You know, she recognized like she was, going to be able to help us through high school. She was dedicated to supporting us through that point. She said, you're going to have to figure out how to get to college on your own because I can't pay for that. But she wanted to build that foundation. And the other thing that she did was actually to let me go really early in my life. My mother was willing to sacrifice having my presence in our home in order for me to try to have a good education that she thought would get me to college. And I think that that kind of uh, support um, was invaluable to me. At the same time, she would say, if you ever want to come home, there's a place for you here. My name is Imani Mason. I attend Menlo Atherton High School as a ninth grader. My goal is to go to Spelman College and become a probation officer. I know a few people on probation, and frequently the ability to get your life back together depends on your probation officer and I would like to help those who get in trouble. I joined FCE to receive help with schoolwork so I could stay on track to go to college. Math is really hard for me, and at FCE, I got one-on-one -on -one atten attention from tutors. Dr. West, I know college could be expensive, and I'm deciding on whether I should get a job to save up for college or stay focused on schoolwork. Thank you for your question, and I want to highlight your sensitivity to those who are hurting given that you want to use your education to help those on probation. Did I hear you right? Yeah. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Very much so. Because it shows that you want to connect your success to greatness. And he or she is greatest among us who is willing to render service to others and find joy and rendering service to others. So you're on the road to greatness and you're on the road to success. Now you want to know whether Spelman is a vehicle for that success or greatness, right? Yes, you need to go to a college no matter what. You don't want to defer it. You're going to find people in this area if you are find yourself in financial straits, you'll find people in this area who will support you. My name is Rafi Miranda. I am a senior at Palo Alto High School and I am one of the few minority students in my college prep and AP classes. In the fall, I will be attending college, and I intend to be one of the first in my family to graduate. I am interested in studying animal sciences and becoming a veterinarian in college. This is a difficult field, and I knew I would not be able to do it on my own, which is why I joined Foundation for College Education. SCE helped me acquire the skills I needed to improve my grades, and they helped me apply to the best pre veterinary programs. But I will be entering a competitive field where there are not many Latinos or African Americans. I would like to ask you, Dr. West, what advice can you give me that would lead me to be successful? Master your discipline, master your technique, master your craft. Then learn how to play hard. Because we have too many young folk these days whose lives are so shot through with stimulation and titillation. 
and the culture of superficial spectacle that they don't learn how to play. They may play hate, but they don't play. <laughs> Playing is getting outside of yourself, being part of something bigger than you. My name is Elena Moreno, and I'm a junior at Palo Alto High School. I joined FCE because I needed help improving my SAT scores, and I was also looking for tutoring help in physics. My older sister, Gisela, who is also an FCE participant, graduated from the University of San Francisco and is now in a master's degree program. I want to attend an out-of-state school and major in psychology. After college, I want to work with underserved kids in urban life communities. Ms. Rivera, as a strong, successful Latina in the business field, how can I encourage students that I would be working with uh, to follow in your footsteps? One of those things is just to realize that regardless of what field you work in, you can actually mentor people who are trying to come up in the world. And so for me, for example, when I was working uh, as a counselor, I was helping students to get internships and jobs and also to apply to graduate school. And, you know, I, I feel blessed that a lot of those kids went on and, you know, became scientists because I worked with students in the sciences. The notion that I have in the world of work in general is that it should be a ministry almost for people um, and the people that you work with. And so, for example, I hired a lot of people at Google and I don't consider that um, they were just working for me. Uh, I also felt that I had a responsibility to them in terms of their careers and their development.